Aren't you here from iHeartOfMine.com? Today I'm gonna make one of my favorite beef stir fry dish, Thai basil beef stir fry. So I highly recommend you use skirt steak or beef flap. If you can find them, try to use a sirloin. In terms of type of the basil you want, you can if you can find Chinese basil, Asian basil, Thai basil, great. If it's not, just use Italian basil. Um, I'm also going to add some bell pepper for some extra color and crunch. And in terms of the aromatics, if you don't want anything spicy, just skip the chili pepper. And here I use uh, either serrano chili pepper or fresno red chili pepper now the first thing we do is we're gonna pan sear the beef uh, this is about one pound of skirt steak um, if you're cooking more than one pound and your skillet you know it's getting too crowded definitely separate separate them to you can do different batches and then try you don't have to like sear them one by one as if you are doing like a Japanese hibachi grill that's not Chinese style you know stir fry we want it quick we want to have enjoy good food fast so if you're not quite sure how to actually pan sear your beef definitely swipe up to check out an article and if you're watching on YouTube click the description link to check out more info and another thing about Asian cuisine is you just see I slice the beef pretty thin so if you're going to use a tongue to grill a piece by piece it's just gonna take forever for you to do and then wait until the button see the crispy one and you flip them so you want to look for the charred color this way it's just much quicker than your grill piece by piece they don't have to be completely cooked through at this point because we're gonna cook them later with our sauce and all the other beautiful vegetables now we're gonna turn off the heat the beef is not completely cooked through yet but you know they are slightly charred outside and be sure to check out the uh, secret ingredients in the recipe to keep them tender and I know many of you actually learned this special technique from me to keep your meat tender, juicy, and also charred at the same time. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you try it. And if you did experience success, be sure to tag me. I would love to see it. And please be sure to give me the credit. Now set the beef aside, we're going to use the same skillet and add a little bit more oil. And now we're going to have all these ingredients ready because they are going to come together very quickly. First, I'm gonna saute the aromatics. Season with a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna saute until they sweat a little bit, until fragrant. Mandarin code is bao xiang. Bao xiang means you want to use the temperature and also the oil to bring out all the flavor of your aromatics. So when you can smell the beautiful aroma, about 10 seconds, 10 seconds, I would say, the next thing we're going to add our bell pepper. You can add any color of bell pepper you want. You can also use red bell pepper. So quickly season with another pinch of salt, and then you want to hear the sizzling sound the whole time. And then you don't want to saute the bell pepper for too long. They will turn watery. And next thing we're going to add basil in. And then yes, we're gonna saute the basil because you, you want the oil and the skillet to bring out all the flavor of the beautiful basil. We're gonna add the beef back and also our stir fry sauce. We're just gonna combine everything together, give a quick toss, keep the vegetables still crunchy, colorful, not mushy, and this dish is ready. It's gorgeous, it smells amazing here. There you go, this is the finishing product, Thai basil beef stir fry. So simple, so easy, and I guarantee it packs tons of flavor. So good. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out the recipe description in the link below. And watching on Instagram or Facebook, be sure to swipe up to get the recipe. Yum!